You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. <laughs> yes, we are here. Bing is for doing, we're here doing another episode of Dancing with the Stars All-Stars. Season 15, and it is week four. I am your host tonight, Kristen Burt, and we are so excited because Monday was a great show, and we've got all the inside scoop along with my co-host here this evening, Suri Serrano. Hi, everybody. Joining us again, a repeat guest, and from the Dancing with the Stars troupe, we have Emma Slater. Hi, Hi. how are you guys? Good, thanks for coming back. Good. And uh, to my right, we do have a newbie, but also from the Dancing with the Stars troupe, Sasha Farber. Hi, guys, how are you? Can, can we out you guys? You guys are a couple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We've been it's a very, for a year and a half. All right, so it's not. <laughs> but just so everyone else knows, in case they don't know, we've got all the inside scoop on your romance, too. No. <laughs> all right, I have to say that when I saw Monday's show, I, I was really impressed. I wasn't sure how these, these selections of some of these dancers were going to go down, uh -huh. but I was really, really impressed with all the work that everyone put in. No one had any idea that was going to happen, by the way. It really was a, a surprise. A surprise for us watching as it was for the audience watching, too. So I think um, the whole shock factor and they didn't have any time to think about and plan who's going to get given this. It was a, it was a total, right, you're going to pick for this person. Just, just nobody knew what was going to happen. And I think that the, because they had no time to think about it, 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 made, it made for really good TV. And then, of course, when they did it all, I was, I was really pleasantly surprised that it didn't suck. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought a few of them might suck, but I thought, sure, I I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I thought the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and I was a little worried that Dancing with the Stars was going down the alley of So You Think You Can Dance yeah. because we had a lot of contemporary and some hip hop and stuff uh, like that, but it actually worked out very well. So we're going to kick it off by mm -hmm. um, going through dances one through three in the first section, but uh, we do have to say that we had a fabulous guest judge, Paula Abdul. Mm. She was that great. That was awesome. Wasn't she great? That was really good. I was so happy she was there. She added a fun energy, I think, to the panel. Totally. I think they should do that more often. I really think that they should make that guest um, guest judge a permanent thing and then switch it out. And put, it would put be a cool idea in. if the pro that got eliminated actually the next week was a was a guest judge on the actual show. Oh, that could be cool. That, that could, could be, be cool. interesting. That could mix That's it up. Idea. And then not I, be too so you think you can dance. <laughs> I'm not a huge Paula Abdul fan. I think she was okay, but I was kind of disappointed that she was the judge, actually. <laughs> oh. Well, that's honest. I mean, that's okay. I just think there's some better judges that we could have brought sure. in. Sure. That's all. I think maybe the one thing that she did bring, whether you like Paula Abdul or not, is just a little bit more energy or, or a little uh, bit something something different than what we've yeah, seen. Yeah, definitely. So. More feminine, even though she was next to Bruno. It was still... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, their, like, romance that was going on. <laughs> their fomance. I don't know what it was. But uh, we kicked off the night with the Charleston uh, and with Kirsty and Max. Um, and I, this was the perfect way to start the night because the two of them are great performers and it's a good start to the whole show. All right, you know, sorry, I'm going to start right with you. What do you I do love think? his outfit. <laughs> he had a, sh he had a shirt on. <laughs> Max had a shirt on, you guys. We had a tie and a tie. He looks so cute. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the whole number. <laughs> he looks like a newsboy. Yeah. The package was really good. Did you guys as well. like it? I loved it. Well, um, I had lots to say about, about all the others, but this one was obviously the first one I saw, and I loved it. Like, I was in the trailer watching this one, and I couldn't stop laughing, and everybody around me was the same. And I think the package was really good, too, because it, she she did, like, the cartwheel over his legs, and and from what I hear from the producers, and you could, you could totally see on the package, she really, like, overcame something. And I think it was because she's competing with all these young... Um, yeah, you know, athletes and 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 real go get 'em type and of contestants, and she she I felt like she 
really achieve something and it looked like it to me like I loved it the, it just keep getting better and better the worm thing at the end as well <laughs> oh that was amazing that was awesome yeah that was great uh, close to my it's close to my number one with his outfit along with his outfit but she's also been you know a bigger woman and I think that's partly you know coming you out go of, do coming out like of a that. cake she came out of a cake <laughs> Max so was the yeah. chef he cooked up a storm <laughs> I love it <laughs> it is it was good and it was it was well performed I mean some things you can notice because you start seeing it on the Charleston and especially as we go week by week and you start noticing things she's still a little bit slower on the footwork she's not as light on her feet because when you have Max next to you and he's doing mm -hmm. it really quick and fast you see stuff like that but I love that she did some lifts I mean she's clearly getting more comfortable with lifts and is mm -hmm. okay with Max lifting her and, and that's a big deal. Mm. It yeah. shows progress. Yeah. It was definitely good for her because it was you saw the funny side of her. She was actually having fun. There was no, I mean, yes, there was stress with the cartwheel, but just to get out there and have <laughs> fun and the way she did it, the story, she told the story, it was amazing. It was awesome. Yeah. And I, I love how everyone's gunning for Sean Johnson. Everyone's like, I don't want to do a cartwheel with an Olympic gymnast <laughs> on the show. There was, a, there was a lot of that in the packages. Was it um, Melissa Rycroft as well was saying about, you know, take that, Sean. And I was like, wow. Yeah. I think, because I think they maybe they're feeling like Sean is the front runner or something. Absolutely. I hear it from all of them, the, everyone mm -hmm. that I've talked to, you mm -hmm. know, that Sean and Derek and Jill and Peta, they really feel mm -hmm. like... She's there. the one to beat. Yeah. She's, she's the one to beat. She's All right. Uh, their score was 30. I thought that was a uh, great way to start the show. Yeah. And um, the scores are a little bit higher this week, just to remind everyone that it was out of 40 because we had the extra judge with Paula Abdul being there. Mm -hmm. uh, next up was Bristol and Mark. Um, they picked rock and roll. And, you know, when they <laughs> picked... Sasha's already grinning ear to ear. What is that? We talked a little bit about Bristol. <laughs> Bristol was in the news a lot this week. And, you know, I'll t we'll touch about it on it a little bit. But um, when I thought rock and roll... And Bristol even said that she's thought a little bit more headbanging. I thought they were going to do something a little bit more edgy. Um, but they did a really cute number. And I will say that this is the most personality we've seen out of Bristol. Mm -hmm. And I know that I've been a little hard on her. But I was like, at least she looked like she was having fun. She looks great, personally. And, I mean, like, her physique and everything. She looks like a different person. Yeah. Her body's amazing this <laughs> yeah. time around. She looks like she had fun. Beautiful. But I heard that, you know, Mark said she was unwilling to take any risks. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you feel, you feel differently about the dance, don't you? I got me about Bristol? about that dance, the the rock and roll like versus what? Well, versus like the other of the night on the Monday night. Oh well, I I'm I was never a fan of hers. Uh -huh. I'm not a fan. Like I I'm I think it was the smart choice, by the way, to go home. Sorry, I'm already spoiling it. If you haven't seen it, but what? <laughs> you know, she was supposed to go home earlier in my. I day, think she so. had a lot of pressure on her. I mean, with the fight. I mean, you saw her in the packages. Sure. I mean, she, she, I think she thought that. Mark really wanted Sean or Sabrina and I mean to think that while you're dancing and trying to train every day it must be pretty hard. Mm. I so. think you, in being her and in that situation with all those eyes on you and competing against you, she did great under that pressure. Mm. So I can't imagine. I'm sure it was a very stressful experience. Yeah, she's 21 <laughs> years old, remember, what? you know. 21. I, she's 21. She's 21. Yeah. Um, wow. Very mature. She's very mature. I mean, she is a single mom, so that you know yeah. probably gives her a lot of you know totally, totally, totally. world experience and everything yeah. else. But um, you know, one thing that I heard um, after the show, and I don't know if any of you guys have the inside scoop on this, is that she did not talk to the press um, after she was voted off, uh. and Mark did. But Here. in her defense, almost nobody did from the cast because they went straight to rehearsals. Okay, well, good point. Dance. All yeah. the party, oh, yeah. all the, all right. the mid-season party. Right, so I just want to make that <laughs> yeah. clear. Um, yeah. They did go on Jimmy Kimmel after, and uh, she had a fun little banter with Jimmy Kimmel because he's had a lot of fun with her mother, Sarah Palin, but she she was, she was seemed to be in okay spirits after being voted off and uh, being on his show, so I will give her, her at least that. Her mama was crying. Oh, oh, really? She's had a lot of good family support on this, and I think that they've seen her growth, and yeah. I think we've all seen it, which I think is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Her family's been there like many weeks, most of them, actually. Yep. And she did not get the lowest score of the night. She got a 32. Uh -huh. So rock on to Bristol. I, I was really rock impressed. And roll with the rock, rock and roll. On. Rock on, sister. Good job. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm sure you're watching right now, Bristol. Okay. Uh, our third dance, uh, and probably my, one of my favorite couples, Sabrina and Louie, they did the disco. Yep. Okay. That was, that was a shirt that Louie was wearing, wasn't it? Woo! That shirt was amazing. That hair was amazing. The <laughs> hair was amazing. That little the like coat. fur thing. Oh. The one thing I want to say, I know Marissa likes it too. <laughs> but here's the one thing I have to say. In the package, they talked a lot about we're going to make this more Studio 54 and less Saturday Night Fever. Mm -hmm. And then they came out and danced to a song from Saturday Night Fever, which yeah. I was a little bit like, what? Yeah, I didn't really feel the Studio 54 part. But 
overall, it was a fantastic routine. I loved it. Loved I mean, it. you know, from last time I was here, I love her. I think she's great. She's awesome. I'm really the and way I'm glad she wasn't in the. Sorry to spoil it. I'm glad she wasn't in the Jeopardy or in the bottom two, you know, this week. Too. I agree with you. I think that that gave him a little confidence boost, too. Yeah. Because I think she's worried, like, some of her fans from the Cheetah Girls maybe are grown up and they're not watching the show this time yeah. around. And it's nerve-wracking. What did you think of the number? I loved it. Um, I've always been a fan of Sabrina and her dancing, the way she moves her body and her extensions are awesome. She's fab. They were... Uh, the following night, they were extremely nervous. Like, Louis said he could barely breathe up there on stage wow. waiting to hear the news. They were both. I was like, right there, and they were definitely shaken. They they had a, a crazy lift at the mm. end that he almost dropped her for a second. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah. clearly knows what he's doing as a partner, but I was like, whoa, that yeah. was a close call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I looked at her face, but her face was, like, completely un untouched. It's like, sorry, he's not going to drop me. It's Shh. fine. I was like, uh -huh. I would have been like, Hoo. <laughs> she has trust in her partner. That's yeah, actually a good thing. I like to hear that. Um, 35.5 was their score. I thought that was a uh, kind of right good. on par. Yeah, it was Speaking good. of because well, the... they said that she lost r timing. They did, you know, but they are. Some of the judges argued about that. Some of them were like, "You were off," and then I think Carrie Ann was like, "Really? I didn't see that as much." I didn't actually see that either. Disco yeah. timing. That would be quite interesting. Yeah, it is like the hustle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, what was it counting? <laughs> To be honest, like disco is is very. There's so many different styles of disco, and I think what they did was the mainstream. What you would see in like Saturday Night Fever and uh, competition disco is very much like. I don't. I don't want to because I don't know. And uh, I've never trained in that, but from from what I see, of competitions it's very much. Um, you travel a lot around the room, like, yep. and you have set routines, and it's very, very extreme, like outward. And I think they did more mainstream what people think of as disco, which is what it is. You know, you know? show us a disco movie. I'm not showing you a drag. I'm like not going to do a drag run in, in the, the studio. studio. You actually can, come on. We can do yeah, some you can dance right up here. <laughs> oh no, I'm good, thanks. Oh, we might <laughs> make you later. dance tonight, you guys. No. I don't know. Uh, so 35.5. Um, I just want to remind you guys that if you are listening to the podcast version of this off of iTunes, we would love for you to get on there and rate us. Remember, I think last week I said we had four stars. We're moving our way up, but we would like to be a five-star show. So make sure that you rate us. And also, I feel like, you know, I'm a contestant. Call and vote. <laughs> but no, call and <laughs> go on the internet. You and should be on the show. I should be on the show. No one wants to see my dancing. <laughs> but we want five stars. But we also want your feedback. Let us know what you like, what guests you would like to see, because um, we love hearing from you. And trust me, we do read those comments. And I've got some great comments. We talked about this from YouTube, too. So we'll get into that in a little bit li later on. But um, we're going to move into our fourth dance, which was with Emmett and Cheryl doing Bolero. Now, <laughs> I wrote down, just watching the show, what made that bolero? Can you guys answer that for me? What made that bolero? What made that bolero? Because I, I looked at it, and it didn't oh, seem like the, that style-wise, stylistically, I didn't know it's, what I was necessarily looking for versus a, a pasta doble or something. It's a very slow rumba. It's very showy and has a lot of emotion and kind of tells a story between the, the man and woman. Okay. From what I understand, bolero um, technically... Is has the more more hold <laughs> has more hold they have have a, a very um la it has a typical latin hold it, traditionally for, but that's very basic and if you're going to make it for dancing with the stars you're going to need to put lifts in there mm -hmm. and lot cover the floor a lot more so you're going to need to break out of that hold but it is actually really similar to um, my granddad used to dance below which is weirdly enough how I, I know a little bit about it um because it's not extremely extremely popular it's um it's a it's very slow, uh, mellow, very Latin. -y. We do it all the Paso, time. Paso tango type thing. <laughs> Wait, it's what's going on? Did I just hear some bedroom talk? I don't know what happened oh, here. My God. Um, I interviewed them with Tony um, Dovalani on Monday night after the show, and they. Cheryl had said she said I'd never done it a step in my life. Emmett's like if she didn't know it, I wasn't gonna know what it was. <laughs> and Tony had been showing her moves and whatnot. But um, Tony actually said his wife called him and said that was so sexy. You got to tell Emmett it, he just did it. And, he, and Tony told Emmett, I don't want you to get mad at me, dude, but uh, I found it pretty sexy. And that's hard to say, <laughs> man to man. <laughs> it was. He had that great little hip thing going right. on. I was like, that was pretty sultry yeah, with the two of them. He can move. Signature move. He can move. I called it his signature mood. I was like, did you put it in or did Cheryl? 
I, I know exactly. He is. He's got, he's got good hip action, which mm -hmm. is for some guys, like especially if they're not dancers, they don't know how to move that part of their body well. It's yeah. practice. Yeah. Practice it, makes perfect. Yeah, right. <laughs> here we go again. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. It's I getting hot what here. I know. What time is this, baby? <laughs> <laughs> we What's are turning time? rated X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the internet. Sweet. You can say it. Um, you know, but the neat thing is, it was also interesting to watch them bring in experts. I mean, she brought in like a whole group mm -hmm. who wound up performing yeah. on, on yep. Tuesday night. But, um, you know, are there certain rules with that? Like bringing in experts, are they getting paid too, like to, to teach or something? How does that work? Does anyone know? They just ask we friends for who help. Who said that? <laughs> we sort of, br we've, we've like brushed on this a lot. We're not massively familiar with it. I don't know if it's. Um, I don't know if it's the way they like it for us to, to not be sort of. I think it was allowed concept. this week because there's so many different genres um, and different styles of the right. dance. So a few right. of the people have never done it, like Karina and the hip hop. Right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Pretty much every week, um, the dancers, the pros, will will choreograph and and rehearse and train just themselves, and it's always been like that. Um, and if if you get ideas and. Um, and talk about the number with other pros or anybody else. I know it, they, they don't like to do that in the studio and um, with the celebrity because it gets confusing. And so each, each of the pros do stick to the studio time with just the celebrity. Mm -hmm. Occasionally a pro, will, they'll you know, go in and help they'll each say, other what or whatever. what do you think about this? Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and watch that. But Emmett did say that. He said, I was getting a lot of corrections from a lot of different places. But that's the best part of the show. I mean, it's such a tight family and they're all such good friends. I mean, when, when it comes to being on the dance floor, it's like game on, no one's friends. But the second they come off, it's like everyone's, you can see them in the sky room, like cheering and having fun. They yeah. show that on the Tuesday night show a lot, like go, you know, you can, you can yeah. hear that a lot, which is kind of fun to see that, you know, it's a competition, but it's a friendly competition. Exactly. And everybody's so sad when there's an elimination, you know, yeah. and we, well, we had the mid-season party last night and it just, it just reminds you that every, every aspect, every like production or every part of the whole show is these brilliant, such good friends. Like, that's nice. I, yeah. It, this went so fast for me last night. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, I love that, well, though. I'm slurring my words. Oh, Sasha's holding back another comment. Oh, what do you have to say? <laughs> you no comment. Free no comment. Oh, yeah. No comment. All right, I'm going to ask oh you God. off the air. Okay, uh, their, their score was 36. The scores have increasingly gone up. Um, and then we get to a whopper. We get Jill and Peta mm -hmm. um, doing Bollywood. Bam. Uh, yeah. And, you know, Bollywood, when I watch So You Think You Can Dance, is always one of my favorites. So I didn't know what to expect. And wow, was that fun. It's brilliant. i got to say... I was in the ballroom watching the whole show, and up until that point, you know, I was I was okay into, you know, I respected each performance. Not loving Kyle Abdul. Not like loving the whole <laughs> thing, but nothing like really made me want to jump out of my seat. That Bollywood number made me want to like the, the whole room erupted, yeah. you know, with them. It was it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It really was, I loved and it, it. Uh, this is really where you know Jill does a lot of expression. Sometimes I think he's a little he's overperforming, <gasps> but in Bollywood, <gasps> it's exactly oh, what you exactly. need. We just came back from the Indian version of Dancing with the Stars, and it's full on, like full on. So oh seeing gosh, them do the I same thing, it. then yeah. it was awesome. I was telling him actually, I was like, look, I don't know how far you want to go with this Bollywood theme, but. Could, because we just we just came back from from doing a week there, um, the, I said depending who's singing, if it's a man or a woman, the the performer Bass. likes to sing. They mime to <gasps> the music. So they were sing they were dancing to J Ho. So whenever he was singing J, whenever the, J -Ho. the yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he if it was real Bollywood like Indian like I know it's Dance with the Stars, he would be singing along with that as well, and it would be real. He'd be so into it, and he was like his face. I I couldn't stop laughing. That was, it was awesome. I think, they were I'm so sure focused before they came on, just sitting there watching them like they were going through it a hundred times. It was like oh god, I have mm. to. This goes down really well. And he came out and just nailed it. Nailed oh, it. yeah. You know, and they're, they're so, so gorgeous fun. to look at. I know we say this every week, but it's just one of those. The they two are. of them together are such a striking couple. And, you know, he was That's a little... That's we hear all the time. About you two. <laughs> well, I'm hearing I'm it on joking. this show, I know. <laughs> charming. I can see why you... Uh, I know. <laughs> He's so modest. <laughs> and, and Jill was a little late. You could see it on, on TV. He was a little late on a couple of his moves, but it really didn't matter because they just sold it yeah, so sold well. It. They really did. Um, and, and they wound up with a 39.5 in the score, which was the highest score of the season so far. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, what do you think of the point, point 0.5 marks? It's different. No other shows have had it. Uh, yeah, I love ahead. it because you, ha you have to have it. When yeah. it's like any big, 
fierce competition. You have to differentiate. I come from a gymnastics background, mm -hmm. and they went from the 10-0 system to now like a system that people mm -hmm. don't understand unless you're kind of in the community to 15s and 16s, yeah. 0.235, and all of those numbers. You have to. When you it's have good. that many good performances, you have to Especially differentiate. Especially with the All-Stars, because the 0.5 can be that separator between uh. first and second. Yeah, except for last week, we had a really weird run of like everyone had 24.5. And, and if you looked at, I think it was four couples that actually had that score. And if you looked and put all those dances side by side, you're like, mm, some people should have been a little bit higher and some people should have been a little bit lower. But yeah. I think overall it works. Mm -hmm. It definitely mm -hmm. does. Um, we move into Melissa and Tony doing the jitterbug. <laughs> um, this was a really ambitious piece, I thought. Um, a lot of hard lifts, Lots a lot of, of quick movements. And you can tell, I mean, you've talked a lot to Tony. They're in it to win it, and they are trying so hard to get there. He, yes, yes, they are. And uh, he, he, he has an injured back, so, oh. um, but he's okay. He's working through <laughs> it. And he said Len called him after the show and said, you, that's the best choreography I've seen you do on the that's show. That's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, so he was really pleased to hear that because I think in the past he's felt like he hasn't received enough credit for his choreography ah. and yeah. they said I think uh, one of the judges and I don't know if it was Len or, or someone else but they said all season like his choreography has just been on a different level they did say that on TV he's going all out I think that's why his back's a little Tony, sore yeah, he's, yeah. he's great at the choreography and the dancing like I've always admired his dancing mm -hmm. but Melissa I love watching Melissa because before every number somehow I'm sitting there and she's always in front of me and she gets so nervous she's like <laughs> Don't look at yeah. me. I was like, okay, <laughs> turn away. Yeah, it's so she funny. gets so nervous. Out of wow. all of them, I think she gets the most nervous. And then she, the second she goes out there, it's like it just goes whack. But she doesn't go quiet nervous. She goes like talkative nervous. <gasps> like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Which like, I kind of uh, could see actually. She seems like she's the chatty girl in general. So yeah, she's so genuinely, so genuinely lovely and chatty, and it just all comes out before the dance. And like, um, also, what do you think about this? And 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 don't look at me. And blah blah blah. blah. But uh, it's uh, hilarious to watch because she doesn't. Sound and still either she like runs around but somehow we always end up like i'm sitting there and she'd be right there and she's like again we're here us too i was like all right i'm going, I'm going. <laughs> um i thought what was really nice was uh the footwork was really really clean um and i thought that was nice you could really see it, it was crisp throughout the whole dance they did get stuck on a, a lift or two um which the judges kept pointing out over and over like all the way down the line and it was carrie ann that complimented tony on his choreography so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but you know th they're up there and it's it's like they're just hovering above of, like the two top couples, so I yeah. feel like they're they're almost there. They're getting there, and um, we'll see what happens. He's, in the next he's said all along that they, he feels like they're the sleeper couple, and that when anybody gets voted off, they pick up their votes. That's what he thinks. But hey. it's good. I mean, oh, really? in this competition, mm -hmm. like I learned when I did the Australian Dancing with the Stars, you don't want to peak too early because you want to kind of go level by level by level because it's only like week five now, coming up to week five, so it's just the middle. So now's the time to like. Bring your A game, put it into second. Bring it, show it. Well, and that's what I thought too, because you know, Sean, we'll, we'll get to her, but you know, they've been outstanding week after week. But you know, I always find sometimes when you get to that final top three couples, you think, oh my gosh, this person has been at the top. They're just, they might as well hand them the trophy now, and then they don't wind up winning. Because I think people think, oh well, everyone's going to vote for that, yeah, and then yeah. it's that person that was almost as good all season mm. winds up winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, Joey Fatone and Kim Johnson. That was a shocker. I mean, he was an awesome dancer. That quick step so the fun. week when they got out was amazing. I know. Mm. Yeah. I was, I was sick over it. <laughs> yeah, that was. Were you was. really? Were yeah, you? I was. I was sick. What happened? I did a, she puked all over the studio <laughs> right on air. <laughs> did you have to tell everybody? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they saw it. They were watching. It was live. <laughs> um, their score was 37. So it really, again, it puts them uh, right near the, the top there. Um, with 39.5 being the top score of the night. But then we get to, here we go, Sean and Derek. Yes, and my uh, couple. Doing the mambo. <laughs> I know this is her pick for the season. So uh, they were doing the mambo. And uh, th this is one that, you know, I thought... Sean Johnson doing the mambo, that's going to be a challenge. Not that she can't move because she totally can and she can do tons of tricks and everything else, but I was like, I didn't know if she had necessarily the maturity um, yet to really mm -hmm. like feel it and understand it. Yeah. But wow, was that good. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Especially the bit in the middle where he grabbed her leg and the music stopped and it was just silence. Yeah. And the light, loved loved it. It. everything went and dark the passion except right was there. coming in. It was perfect, amazing. Perfect. And she's really good. At, obviously, she's really good at those lifts and stuff. But um, I think I think more that 
what she has to work on is more about the actual movement and the dancing and she, her her memory's amazing like he gives a real challenging choreography and she, yeah. she takes it in like amazing and the lifts are no problem for her so really it's just I reckon it's just about the technique and the um, and, and the, the face come, yeah. you know the emotions coming yeah. through the face the Derek Derek them up a little. Derek's also a very talented dancer and teacher so his choreography is also amazing incredible so. I interviewed him Monday night. Yeah, what did he have to say after their dance? Because, I mean, that, that they must have been on such a high after dancing. Well, you know, he was cool as a cucumber, <laughs> Derek. But, uh, I, no, I just asked him about their trip to Iowa. You know, he got to go to Chow's. That would have been fun. Gymnastics. And, and uh, I heard about some of the tricks he's able to do, which are incredible, not being a gymnast. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was good for Sean to get home. So it was just, yeah, overall a fabulous trip. Yeah, yeah I saw. Right. They had all the, the Fab Five or, or the yeah, Fierce Five. Yeah, he's an American yeah. team. Yep, yeah. he loved meeting them, and um, he was having Michaela Maroney, you know, the famous fate, yep, exactly, okay, yes. uh, teach Sean <laughs> a little bit about sass. He's oh. always referencing her. And yeah, so. she's got, so, Michaela wait, Maroney has a lot of sass. who's got bets on next season? Do you reckon any of them are going to be there? Oh, I honestly think it would be Michaela. I feel like face? out of all of them. That, mm -hmm. That's the one. She's the L.A. girl. Yep. She's the L.A. Oh, girl. She she's got acting ambitions. Sassy. She's doing a... a on, on Dixie, what's the Heart of Dixie? She's doing a guest spot on that. And, so, and out of all of those, uh, out of the five, she's the best um, dancer as a gymnast. Dancer. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, on the floor. Right. Mm -hmm. Just in no in, and beam, like in general, you can just. You can talk to a gymnast, so like I yeah. know, like <laughs> she's definitely. And you know, the interesting thing is, she just had surgery on both on both legs, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know if she'll come back to oh, gymnastics. She, she, she is. She, she's she training. is, but now, but we'll see what happens. Oh, no, she is. She's she's. Focused on Rio. Not unless dancing the stars offers yeah. her a job. People get distracted. You know, that's the thing. Like, people all of a sudden get the money. It's four years away. She's got some time. She does yeah. have time, you know. <laughs> but those comebacks are hard for gymnasts. Very. They're hard. I mean, Sean could tell that. Nastia could I forgot could say, you're a gymnast junkie. <laughs> I'm a total junkie, man. <laughs> Total. I, I love it. I go on to gymnastics. Have you but seen, see, have you seen can, Make It or Break It? I have, actually, <laughs> yes. My friends work on it, um, all the former UCLA gymnasts yeah. and whatnot. Um, I'm a former gymnast turned dancer, so I can kind of relate to Sean. You'd you know, be like some perfect of the, for this show, huh? I would love to do this show, hopefully, <laughs> one day. Um, yeah, so I Did just you? relate to how, you know, you can pick things up, I can, yeah. you, know, you can lift, you can turn. All of, I wasn't a trained dancer, but yet I was beating dancers and dancing, and so mm -hmm. I, I just, she's my... She's my heartfelt favorite. Oh, Aww, that's okay. That's, that's good because nice. she's she is showing up each week, which is great. I love it. Thirty nine point five. So that tied her with uh, Jill and Peta, and uh, and you know she was psyched to see three tens. As a gymnast, you want to see tens. <laughs> you want to see four tens that week. But I thought I thought we might get to it, but it's probably a little early in the season to do ten, 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 ten. Um, all right. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, since we are in the fall season, we were just mentioning Heart of Dixie. We might get to break it, which is no longer on the air. But uh, here at After Buzz TV, we have fifty five shows so we are probably covering your favorite show and we hope you watch it you can see everything at afterbuzztv.com if we're not covering your favorite show write on into us email tweet us let us know because oftentimes we have super fans here at the studio that would love to start a show so make sure you uh, check that out afterbuzztv.com Yay! I, there's, there, this, I have to say, you guys, this fall, there's a lot of good TV shows. My oh, like there TV shows. There's one starting right? tonight. Yeah. Tonight? Tonight. What TV show would that be? <laughs> did you just say tonight? I did tonight. say tonight. American Horror Story. Oh, that's a good one. That. Ryan Murphy. Good. I know it. I, Do you know it? I don't, Ryan Murphy. What? You don't Ryan know Murphy it. from Glee in the New Normal writes some was, excellent. I, I thought you were being sarcastic. I was no! Like, oh. So funny. Yes, a great oh anthology series. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> okay, I'll check it out. Yes. Jeez. And maybe you can watch the after show on Afterbus TV all right there. <laughs> we're going to move on uh, to the next dance. I think I went a little ahead, but all right, we're going to do dances 8 and 9 cuz I already I got so excited about Sean Derek, I went right into them. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about uh, Apollo and Karina. Um, one of the more dramatic dances of the night. Um, they got hip hop, which would also be Karina, don't worry, that would be my biggest nightmare as well. Um, I, I would be so upset if I got that. Um, they did 90s hip hop, which I think is probably a little bit easier to embrace. Um, I than, felt like it was easy, an easy routine. Yeah, to, from did, a dancer you know? perspective. <laughs> well, I, you? I think 90s hip hop is easier because it was as each decade has gone on, it's, it's like gotten harder and more routine, But It's easy. It wasn't. It's like, not a 2012 hip hop routine. Yeah, uh, I'll, yeah. And I'll just say that because I can't do 2012 choreography. I might be able to do like a 1996 hip hop routine. And but, I, I don't think the viewers would necessarily appreciate a 2012 hip hop routine on Dancing with the Stars. I just don't think I, that. I don't know. 
I think I think a '90s one with the song they can relate to is, is better. Yeah, I don't know if Karina could pull off a 2012 routine. I, th I think she could. She was channeling J Lo with the costume and everything, and she's such a superb dancer. I I really I really think she can, and um and she was doing a great job. It just they, so, just, they did. They just, just they did. Mop the floor properly. You know, <laughs> she got in her head. Yeah, that was a hard. I think she just got in her head that, like that thinking. Was a bad hop. She, like hip fall. That, yeah, that was she, I talked to her too Monday night. She's she was just embarrassed. But like any dancer, you, performer, you fall. Well, you're she's a be professional too, so yeah. she wants to think like you know. Yeah. yeah, it's just different when like 20 million people are watching. Yeah. It. Um, I, yes. I, I think <laughs> don't want to fall. <laughs> but I think like all week she kind of she was kind of really hard on herself. Like yeah. I don't do hip hop. I can't do hip hop. I don't know what to do. Why do we have this? And I think it did a little bit get the best of her because mm -hmm. she's a fantastic dancer she's and she's a fantastic awesome. choreographer. Amazing. We've seen her for many seasons on the show, mm -hmm. and I you know we're all human. That's really what it showed. We're all human. We all have our faults and foibles and everything. Um, and it was kind of like a, a nice real moment to see on the show. I mean, it you was like very it? real. I, I didn't, I didn't like, like that she so fell. We should, the way we that should, Apollo and them handled it. The way they handle it. Uh, yeah, you should fall. No, I know. I don't want anyone to fall. I've but had I mean, some doozies. I've had some doozies. Cheeky. But, you know, but it is the... Uh, cheeky. Oh, he's very cheeky. <laughs> how do you handle? But how do you handle a mistake? And, and you know, it's it was a human reaction. We all get upset. Sometimes people cry, and, right. and they handled it well. And I think people appreciate that. It's mm -hmm. not how bad you fall; it's how fast you get up. There you go. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. She yeah. got up pretty fast. Yeah, <laughs> she got up pretty fast. Bless her. But the one thing I felt in the choreography, and I will say this, I felt like it was a little anticlimactic compared to some of the other dances. Like I kept yes. waiting for something to happen, and I don't necessarily think that that was their fault. It, it was hip hop. It was '90s hip hop. Mm. I'm I think, it, I think it would have been really, really good, but what happened was his microphone fell and she she fell. Yep. So I think just to get back into the story, like you can tell, she just wanted it to be over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really think I really think her, her bless her faith died after that. She was so upset with herself and um, and to, when, at the end when she just sat there on the stage, I was like, oh, I, I completely understood how she felt. I'd feel I'd feel the same. Yeah. But I just feel like. For her, she put more pressure on herself because she'd spent the week saying, oh, it's hip-hop, it's hip-hop, you know, I've got to really try hard, and um, it's something that is not necessarily in my comfort zone. And she and she did play that up in the in the package a lot. But I, I feel like she she would have nailed it, and what she fell on was something that wasn't necessarily hip-hop. I think she was doing a kick, and she her foot just went underneath her. And it could happen in any dance. It just ha unfortunately happened in a dance where she felt like she had to prove herself. Yeah. And she would have proved herself, I think. Um, and done a really good job, and but but now you know people think oh it's because she was doing hip hop and I don't, she's I don't through, know she's if it through was to that. the next week. Right, I'm so happy that she, they got through. She's I am too. Nail it. Yeah, 34.5 was their score, and you know I don't think the judges were that hard on them. You know I I really don't. I think that they were like we totally understand you did a great job out yeah. there, and I, I think she just Gives was it. beating it, herself up. Mm. Right. Um, and then we get to, and I've got a lot to say about this couple. So we've got uh, Kelly and Val uh, doing contemporary, which was probably going to be the hardest routine to, to come up with. Because when I think contemporary, I, I automatically go right to So You Think You Can Dance. I really do, because yeah. we always see so many contemporary dancers on that show. I would have loved to see Kirsty do uh, contemporary. Uh, can you imagine? That would have been awesome. Yeah. And that little, like, bikini see, top. that would have been amazing. Shorts. <laughs> amazing. Oh, my gosh. Um, but let's start off with the fact that the two of them were in character from the get-go and and we saw this we, we yeah, saw was, this on the they were also in character um when you guys didn't see it at home like they were in character waiting for the cameras to mm. be turned on and we them. saw that, that on tuesday amazing. night tuesday night show they showed that too like oh, they did they did, yeah, they did the, and they that did. little like little whatever they were backstage right. or whatever but um so it was very touchy-feely um and i'm sure it raised a couple eyebrows across the u.s including her boyfriend. mine <laughs> Her boyfriend might be like, wait a second, man, what's saying. going on? <laughs> I thought she's my girl. I don't know. Okay, so let's just talk about the in-character thing. Was it too much? Was it appropriate? Obviously, it helped them. I I think I thought the same as you when I watched it in the Red Room on TV. It's obviously, like, the first thing you notice. It's not the, the normal, you know, um, smiling and um, team sort of spirit before you go and do a number. It was like... A drama piece so for me it was it was a little weird to watch okay Sasha I want to hear your, your opinion <laughs> yes. on this what do you think you're a guy He's I like, mean what do I say what am I allowed to say what am I not going to say I, I mean I, I've performed everywhere and like tr just before you perform I mean it's such a different dance style for both of them and I think he was really trying to capture the moment of it and the second it's like actors when um the movie finishes rolling they're still in the character so I think he was really trying he's trying to make me laugh <laughs> 
<laughs> she was, he was really trying to be in the character with her. So, I mean, we'll see what happens next week. We'll see what the character when, is next when week. When Val is her boyfriend and her other boyfriend oh, is when? out. When? Oh, okay, well, let's get to it. <laughs> let's take the elephant in the room and, like, put it right here oh in front God. of us. Um, what? Are they dating? Are they dating? What do you know? Well, she's in a relationship. <laughs> I do not think this relationship is going to last. Mm. It's, I'm just going to say, I mean, based on what you're watching, what I see behind the scenes with just at all of it, no way. And she said in her package even, referencing how he's teaching her how to trust again. And yes. there's a reason why she was saying that, people. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, trust. That, I think, is a Dancing with the Stars exclusive. Do you reckon, do you reckon they do the whole... After Buzz TV exclusive. <laughs> yeah, right here on After Buzz TV. You heard it. That is, it might be a prediction, too. It been a little bit of everything, but, uh, you know... Uh, yeah, I, it, it, you know, from even watching it in my living room, because I was not at, you know, at the studio watching it, it was uncomfortable to watch. And it was like one of those, like, you get to a point where you're like, get a room. Um, and, and I, I, I and honestly, no, honestly, because it was so intimate. It was so intimate. But, and I understand, I understand needing to get into character. No, but Tuesday, you're talking about Tuesday night when they were sitting after their performance. You're talking about them when he was like, on hello. Mm. It, they do yeah. do that. It, they're very close, and that, that's yeah. like, that's what they're like normally. But I, I feel like, I feel like it, it isn't necessary that they're like I was saying to you before. It was not necessarily that they're together or dating. I just feel like sometimes when you're thrown in that environment together, you re, it, you do the ba the lines do get a little not moved, you're with but the, you know you're what with I mean. The sure, especially dancing. And, yeah. and Absolutely, you do genuinely the, love each other. Like like because how could you not be that close and not? I think you know everybody would, but and I, and they they like to they definitely obviously wanted to play that up for the cameras because yep. it sells you know and it will be on the papers tomorrow and 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 that's what the TV want to see. That's what people want to see and they want to make a show. So I think they they perhaps just want to turn it up. They have an emotional camera connection to make a, an impact. I, I agree with that, of course, as dancer. You know, I agree with that. That does happen and whatever. And for whatever reason, they've been brought together in their lives, if I might, you know, say, say that, whatever. But I, whatever's going on there, it's not playing well at home, I'm sure, <laughs> in her home. Yeah, what's going <laughs> like, on? Uh, yeah, maybe they're having a little bit of a showmance. I don't know. All right. You know, uh, but let's get to the dance itself because this dance was hard. Um, and I, I keep saying this over and over, and we had some YouTube comments about it, which I, I would love to just talk about because, mm. you know, we've been comparing the um, season one Kelly Monaco to the season 15 mm. Kelly Monaco. And, there, you know, someone mentioned that they didn't think we were giving Kelly enough credit. But what I did, because I, I really wanted to get into this, I went back and looked at some of her season one dances. She was with Alec um, Mazo that season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, sexy dancer. But, you know, I think what I'm starting to see is that we all respond to different teachers and different partners, um, some better than mm -hmm. others. And it's mm -hmm. not to say, because Alec, I thought, was an amazing dancer and super sexy. Um, but I think clearly, as you're seeing in the emotional connection we're talking about, she's responding very well to Val. He's presenting moves and, and choreography that makes her look great. And she's responding where she's getting technique now yes. that she didn't have in and season I, one. I, I think that, um, you know, I was worried about their contemporary, her doing it. But... He was very smart, you know, with his choreography. Definitely. I think you guys would agree with that mm -hmm. because he knew how to showcase her and not show her weaknesses within yep. contemporary. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, her toes were pointed at certain points that I just didn't expect to see because, you know, with contemporary, you're going to see a little bit more technique. Uh, yeah. You know, you can sometimes hide it a little well, bit. It's good. I mean, it's good in a way because contemporary is such a style of dance where you have to sometimes it looks better when you make it look ugly. So it has the emotion. So it goes ugly and then brings it right back to the technique of it. So I think it was good for someone to do contemporary, for some, especially if they've never done it before, because it gives them a chance to actually, like, they don't always have to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. They don't always have to point their toes. Mm -hmm. They yeah. can actually have bent legs, you know what I mean? Yeah, and sh we know she's a good, act a great actress, or a good actress, whatever you <laughs> think, but well. she was crying and showing emotion, and Kelly Monaco does not do that. No. She's oh, always she very did. stoic. She and and I think that's, that's where it comes from, because being in the character for so long I mean they were in the character since the morning I mean I remember getting food in the trailer and they were in the character so I think if you, it's very hard to if you go out of that and then try to do a number just like that it's very hard to find the emotion and try you know get that teary unless you like go 
uh, yes, you know what I mean? fake it. But it's a nice softer side to her. Yeah, and I think they were genuinely really excited about doing it because um, we came in the, the CBS studios in midweek to rehearse and um, and we found them there rehearsing. They had they had those stairs, you know, the um, their set for their dance, and um, and she the, the whole dance already looked really not yet polished, but it was it was very well structured. It was raw and, and yeah, she had a really good feel for it straight away. And and I, if I was her, I would have been proud of that too. So I I feel like they were excited, and the whole character thing, just went with the fact that they really 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 wanted to do it right like they awesome. really was proud of it and now it would have been I love that and you know they were rewarded 37.5 which I thought was a great score mm -hmm. um, and and for everyone that's watching it and I love that you guys are commenting on YouTube as well um, it props up to Kelly we're, we're thumbs up on that one I think <laughs> I you know and I'm, we're, I, I think people think we're being really really hard on her but I, I it's I'm amazed and kind of flabbergasted it's just two different dancers. It's night and day from season one to season 15. And if you don't, like, go back and look. Go watch all of the, the old videos on the that. internet. It, yeah, it's unbelievable. watch all the troop numbers. <laughs> watch all the troop numbers. Watch them back. Season. Come in. Go. Um, <laughs> but you go and watch the season one Kelly. She danced with her shoulders up by her ears, yeah, like, the whole did. time. And um, it, there's none of that. So, you know, she and Val are clearly working well together. Mm -hmm. and, and she's becoming a dancer, which I think is great. So... We, we don't hate Kelly. We love Kelly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 37.5. So clearly our two um, top dances were um, Sean and Derek and uh, Jill and Peta. And uh, and then we get to the bottom three, which was Bristol, Apollo, and Kirsty Alley. Um, and, of course, Bristol Palin goes home, which, mm -hmm. you know what? I, I, I think it was the right. It was the right I, choice. I really do, too. I think it was fair. Fair for the show. Yeah, and she went out on a really good number. I thought that was the best I'd seen her dance yet, so I thought she went out on a high for her, and um, I thought that was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said she had no regrets. Good. You know, she had a great time. I'm glad to hear four that. Weeks. And the other contestants must be really happy because there's no <laughs> eliminations next week, so they get to stay in for another two weeks. Two weeks more pay for the pros, for everybody. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> likes it because they're making a little more each week that they're uh -huh. on. And um, next week, I know the way they said it, it was an hour on Monday and an hour on Tuesday. Um, they're doing freestyle, and they're doing a team dance. Yeah. But there's no show on Tuesday, right? There uh, is a one-hour show. Is, it's one hour there is. both days. For us, we will not be filming on Tuesdays. It so okay. what we're saying here is the magic of television. They'll probably be filming on Monday only, uh, but they'll be showing it on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> yes. But you guys are you guys are off. The troop is off, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Troop is off. Um, but you can still watch the YouTube videos of the troop. <laughs> <laughs> and comment and, and, and comment. say Are we hi. going into the groups? Is that where we were headed? <laughs> yeah, let's let's go right into the groups because I thought this was interesting. I for sure think Derek has the team. Okay, the so, stronger team. So Sean and Derek's team, uh, which they have, God bless him. He, he went up to the judges after everything was done, and he was like, I got the crappy song. Yes. I, got, got, I hate uh, that he song. He wasn't happy. That Come was on he the was radio. really upset. We were in the car just now, and we were driving, and um, uh, somebody said on the radio, they played that song, and they said, oh, if you were watching Dancing with the Stars last night, um, you would know that uh, Derek Hoff had been given this uh, music to use for a, sh a show piece, and he wasn't happy about it, and, like, and um, there was saying how uh, you know so it's actually like not a bad song but he he obviously yeah. it's played like out that. we, we heard it, it all summer okay mm -hmm. it's Carly Rae Jepsen call me like maybe it. but Bill, I think he is the better team well here's the interesting thing and I'd love to hear everyone's opinion on this so so um Sean um and Derek picks Sabrina and Louie Melissa and Tony and Apollo and Karina um I thought it was interesting that Emmett and Cheryl kind of got picked at the bottom there. So, uh, and uh, let me t talk about Jill's team. Jill's team is Kelly and Val, Kirsty and Max, Emmett and Cheryl. Um, Schmikowski team. Well, of course, Peter picks her, you know, her her boyfriend and his brother. Yeah. They're Ugh. together? Because they're going to work well together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jake, Jake. He's not bad. He's he naughty. Is such, I know. <laughs> you are a naughty boy. He is. And the other team, by the way, is doing Gangnam Style, which is a lot more personality and fun yeah. and a little bit more recent. So, yeah, yeah. we're going to, oh. Yep, that. Um, <laughs> exactly. Um, but Emmett and Cheryl went really late, I thought, in the game. They yeah, were, I'm not surprised by that, though. You're if not, you're looking at all of those dancers, like Derek went for the strongest couples. Spring dancers. Lamelis and Tony. Mm. I think he was smart who he picked. Yeah, and then uh, clearly Bristol didn't get picked, so it didn't it didn't matter because mm -hmm. then they were off the show anyway, so mm -hmm. it played out okay. Um, but you, we think Derek's team's going to be uh, the leader in this, even though they have the— I do. All right. What do you guys think? Um, I think 
Um, the the stronger song is probably Gingham Star. Like I can see that that would be easier choreographing to that kind of song. It's definitely but, a crowd pleaser. But yeah, but um, um, yeah, Derek's. I would say the same. I think Derek's team is um, the more agile, like stronger. Mm. Especially with lifts and stuff like yeah, that. It I looks like they, you do a lot they're, more. They're, they're the lifty ones, you know? They're very agile. They're the lifty ones. The lifty ones. The lifty one. Sean, and so is he, but too. What's happening are the rules? Like, can we can we do lifts? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. They're going to throw Sean in the air, I bet, yeah, like, I can... launch her. Yeah, they're just going to do, like, they're a gonna, rocket throw across gonna, the yeah, studio. She's going to do a full-in. Roll a cannon. Roll a cannon on them. They, is, they, didn't give us, they didn't give us any rules, really. Christy Allen should be doing a few gymnastic tricks, I reckon. A cartwheel. In Gangnam Style. Yeah. So do oh a cartwheel. I'm split. sure. I'm wondering, are they actually going to do the Gangnam Style? No, dance? they're going to have to. Of course, the crowd's going to go nuts. Yeah, yes. you know the interesting thing, and especially looking at the teams now, we we're just talking about the team that can do all the lifts. Um, you've got um, Kelly, Kirsty, and Emmett. She's going to so go flying too. Kelly, well, she's tiny. Yeah, she is. But Kirsty can't do the same. You can't match it because you know Kelly and Kirsty are not built the same. So I but just Kirstie feel like Derek's, <sighs> Derek's yeah, team could. is the more athletic yeah. team. Yeah, for hands, hands down. Hands down, absolutely. You're really attached to Derek and Sean, aren't you? I'm attached <laughs> to... That's her favorite. Well, You're and my buddy to Tony, and my, like, Melissa. <laughs> yeah. I think that just the strength of all of them and... <laughs> yes, I do all like right. Sean and Derek. They're my favorite. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into a little bit of news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. And I think what we're going to do is, since all three of you have been at the show, I'm going to ask you to give us one little tidbit that we have never heard about Dancing with the Stars. Something we don't know or um, something that we should know or a little bit of inside scoop. So, After Buzz TV exclusive. That's right. I'm all about exclusives here on uh, After Buzz TV. And uh, who should I start with first? Who's going to look me in the eye and do it? Emma, so you look like you have something. I, no, I don't. That's right. why I'm thinking. Sorry. Sasha. 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 You guys probably don't know this. Good. Go. But majority of the dancers on Dancing with the Stars wear fake tan. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I think that actually the uh, wa there wah, was something wah. that happened this week. And I would like to stress that... Um, the lovely lady Anna that, that did our tan, she uses South Seas products, amazing by the way, like amazing products. Um, I think there was a problem with the mix of tan that she used because um, on the on the Monday morning, the Tuesday morning, everyone was rushing around having to to put on I looked like Bart quick, Simpson. quick instant tan because there seemed to be a problem with the bronzer and the t actual developer mix because we was we we always go for tanning on Sunday. The whole everybody, and we went for tanning <laughs> and we were super dark. <laughs> I'm sure you had a tan this week. <laughs> I'm like you look a lot darker than me. <laughs> we were super super dark. Like I was very very a lot darker than I've, I've ever been. And I was like I'm sure this is going to look weird, you know, for me to suddenly turn up and be like 20 shades darker yeah guys. yeah i mean there's no country in the world with weather that can do that so um so uh we then i text karina i was like karina you're gonna be really happy like the lady she does it very dark and then the next day and um, we got in the shower and it, and it all came off and i think what happened was um it was and it wasn't her fault i think um there was a problem with the with the mix of developer and not enough of, of the developer so the balance it was, was, it was mainly bronzer um, which is why we were super super dark and, and we now know everyone goes for a tan on sunday so i'll be exactly. thinking about you guys on sunday yeah. sundays is now tan. do you have three, a wheel three to eight. although max three to wears eight. he doesn't three to tan. eight yeah he, well, he never wears a shirt. Of course he's tans. Come on. Um, and so wh what's the real scoop you're going to give us? Um, Who eats the most on set? Who's the, the one that's always late to rehearsal on set? Come on. you got to have something. Who's the laziest on set? <laughs> Look at he's in base totally embarrassed. He's turning 20 shades of, like, red. Who, Who, eats, the, oh my who eats the most? Spill it. Who, what celebrity who? eats the most at craft services? No. Yeah, what the, no, 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 no. the celebrity answer is um, like Sean, Melissa, we have some tiny girls, Kelly. He's got to be one of the guys. Emmett. I don't really, I don't know. I'm not one of those that goes, what are you waiting there? <laughs> he doesn't have any inside scoop. What do you have for us, Siri? I don't have a lot. I kind of told you everything. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Although the catering, would have the catering stuff. is amazing. Every set has amazing food, don't they? Don't they? Well, I, okay. I'm going to give a little gold star then to Emma because she's the only one that gave us inside scoop. Oh, thank you. Very You're much. welcome. Thanks. You can come back and you know, <laughs> Sasha has stuff. He's just not. Spilling I know. It. He he is like all of a sudden like 
He's like the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> I'm just he, trying to think. He, well, do you remember the time when you parked in um, the wrong... Uh, in, oh, who, who was that? Yeah, L- LA but Reed. that was... Yeah, but... Yeah, well... Go on, you tell the story. It's not it's not massive inside scoop, but I, I car nearly got towed because he parked in X Factor LA Reed's car spot. <laughs> Don't you know who he is? He's a judge. I, I, <laughs> I had no. It was my first season, and I had no idea. And I thought I'd, I had no idea who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I love and, it. And um, we had rehearsals, and it was the same day that X Factor were filming. So I thought, oh, no one's going to be here because we're rehearsing at CBS. And then they're like, um, does anyone own a blah 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 car? I was like, yeah. They're like. Dude, you parked in LA Reed's spot. I was like, who's that? And then security <gasps> came out. He's like, dude, your car's being towed right now. So I ran. And then apparently he was not happy. He you was not a happy chap. Someone made LA Reed mad. I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> well, have you guys been hearing anything about any of the couples, whether it's fighting or drama or anything that you can share? No, I'm just trying to think. Now we saw the Bristol and, and Mark fight, and that seemed to blow over pretty quick. So yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. There's there. cameras everywhere yeah, now. Yeah, so there are. There is cameras everywhere in the oh. rehearsal studio. So. And everyone seems pretty happy. They've started to. Well, I've noticed in the packages they've started to um, film a lot, like outside of the box too. Like there's a lot of um, cafe lunches in the in the packages and yeah. the coffees and and like I even saw Sean and Derek were on the roof of of the dance studios and I was like wow that's like they're mixing it up they are mixing it up they're mixing it up all right you guys um we're gonna go into predictions now we know um I don't think you're gonna change yours are you no no I think people are starting to join me in my prediction I know I thought about that this week I was like should I jump ship but no I'm I'm sticking with Sabrina and Louie I really like them um but and who did you mention as Sabrina and Louie Sabrina and Louie who do you think is gonna go all the way I might say Cheryl and Emmett. Whoa. What? Really? I reckon. What? Really? I think they're going to squeeze through the middle, if you know what I mean. I, I mean, I would, if you said you Melissa... You must be good friends with Cheryl, because <laughs> that's not happening. No. <laughs> Melissa, if you had said Melissa and Tony, I wouldn't have disagreed with that. I think that they'll be in the top three at the end. But um, that, you know what? Who knows? Everything can change. We're only halfway, and... The, win- the people winning at the moment, they have another five weeks to to try beat what they've been doing. So now it's going to be, obviously, it's going to be a lot harder. But the people that are, are at the bottom of the game, I mean, this competition is about improving. So you want to see someone from week one to the way they dance to the end of the, the final episode. So if the person is the same and hasn't really improved much, you know, it's hard to judge I, them the same way. Yeah, but... but- Go on. Go, no, no, no. It was just, but at the end of the day, it's also who is getting the most votes, of who's course. the most popular, and it's very difficult to compete against a gold medal gymnast, yeah. all American girl. All right, I'll say it, Sean and Derek. Oh, can I change? You can't. Yeah, I don't know. That was can pretty I quick. I don't know. You jump ship. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I won't be here next week, but Surrey will be running the show. Yeah, and I'll be back the following week. But um, I am Kristen Burt. You can find me on Twitter at Kristen Burt. That's K-R-I-S-T-Y-N-B-U-R-T-T. Surrey. At Surrey Serrano. S-U-R-I-S-E-R-A-N-O. Emma. At Emma Slater Dance. That's... Right, I'll try this again. I'm really bad at this. At E double M A S L A T E R D A N C E and Sasha I'm so at proud of Sasha it. Farber and make sure you keep looking at those trip YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week here on After Buzz TV. Thank you. Executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire After Buzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 